My name is David Ridosi and I am out of self finance starting from Maya. In this video I want to show you what's new in Maya 2018 and by using uh, my name Pro 2.0. Um, the first thing I want to show you is the ability to create some controller and tag as it and using the new uh, feature that's uh, uh, hide the controller by proximity. I want to show you immediately. Press Z, the mouse button, go to North, select the circle, shift, drag, forever the circle. Now I want to go to Z, the mouse button, rigging, uh, controller tag this object as controller after that the, the new feature is that Z middle mouse button rigging controllers proximity on now if I move my mouse out of the out of the controller it's hide and when I put my mouse on again it's visible this is a great new feature I think so inside of my name pro and inside my name in 2018 another thing that they are adding is the ability to Create our edge along the along the UV border. So I'm going to show you immediately. If I create uh, Z in the mouse button, create a cube. Z left mouse button, go to smooth. I want to add some division. And now I'm go inside of the UV editor layout. So I'm using Alt 3 for uh, enable it. So you can see here the new version of Maya give me give you the ability to see where the UV cut are. So now I can, uh, of course, close my uh, my UV texture editor, and um, I can try to make hard edge in this direction. So press Z, left mouse button, go to the normals, and from here I can do set uh, set harden edge set harden on UV borders. So if you look closely now, you can see the all right here. You can see the hard edge in this direction, all around the, the UV, uh, the UV, the UV border. So great feature. Another thing you can do with a new version of uh, of this release, if you create, for example, a new, um, a new primitives, a new poly primitives, uh, uh, like uh, like gear, and you select an edge. You can have the ability to go along this continuous edge. This is not a, this is not a loop. If I do double click, nothing happening. But if I select this Z, left mouse button, selecting edge, and I go to contig contiguous, as you can see, uh, this new algorithm can go around this shape. So very interesting, very cool. All right. Um, another feature they have had is the ability to using the the gizmo manipulator in relative mode. I want you immediately. Press Z, go to Noir, create a cube. I want to add some uh, division, I think. Yeah. This one, this one. Alright, great. And uh, if I select these faces, these faces, these faces, right. And I can start moving the things around. As you can see, uh, everything moves in uh, uh, directly based on this uh, locator position. So if I press Alt and uh, sorry um, Shift and uh, and tilde, you can now have change your axis orientation. So now if I'm moving uh, my my gizmo, as you can see, the the moving of the of the relative uh, of the other faces is rel relative um, to this one, and this works with all the all, all the manipulator. If I can use my 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 A again, Shift tilde, and now I can move in this direction. Or if I'm using my R for having uh, the the scale, now I can scale in this direction. And I think this is very very interesting feature. So if I press Shift tilde again, it it come to normal. And this is a great new feature instead of the new Maya. Another thing they have adding is the ability to using uh, uh, dynamics inside of mesh. So, if I create an object, press Z and go to middle mouse button, northwest, nor 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 uh, go to north, create mesh. Now I can uh, go in my outline and select my mesh. Press Z, left mouse button, mesh editor. All right, and from here I want to increase the distribute. So I want to have more more elements. All right, now you can add. Uh, um the dynamics node that lets you fold down your elements in the 
in space. So I have, I have had um, a little trick, a little interesting element. So if you press Z, left mouse button, you can go to the mesh editor, or you can enable and disable the ground and the gravity. Now the gravity is off, so I can play. There is no more gravity. I can uh, re-enable the gravity. Can disable the uh, the ground plane, and uh, well. I think so. It's it's really interesting this way of working by using Z, left mouse button, and so on and so forth. Another thing they have had in this release of Maya is the ability to um, to float the uh, the sculpture. So if I press Z, go for example, and create a cube. Or Z with the mouse button, create a cube. Z, left mouse button. I want mm, some more smooth. All right, great. Now Z, left mouse button, brush, sculpt geometry. One interesting feature, if for example I I load up the Z, with the mouse button for app the uh, my, my tools. If I select my all right freeze and uh, freeze with option, all right. And uh, as you can see, right now I have my float. This let me float this element around. So now I can press Control and uh, and uh, use my elements for the freezing elements or if now I can go Z change for example my, my mouse and I want to use my now uh, a sculpt uh, standard I can float one and as you can see now it floats along the its normals its relative uh, face normals but using the, the freeze uh, area I think so uh, the float is really interesting. Another thing that you have had it about the sculpt tool I want to show you another thing about the sculpt tool is the ability to use the universal symmetry. This is another thing uh, they have had inside of uh, inside of the last version of Maya and is located here. So now uh, uh, tools like the paint, the, the brush tool can work in uh, in uh, universal symmetry. As you can see you can using uh, uh, the object world, for example, the object, or you can use uh, for the first time the topology to define the topology axis and uh, for scalp by using, uh, sorry, left mouse, Z, left mouse button for using this, uh, this feature. And I think this is a very, very powerful way to do that. I want to show you, mm, if I have shown you everything, uh, control tag, uh, USC, circularize, sorry, circularize is uh, all right. I think it's, uh, it's over. The only thing is, is uh, I, I left off is the circularize command. Now you can circularize around the edge selection. I'm sorry, I need to disable my symmetry. And uh, now you can circularize around edge selection, like so. Z left mouse button. You can see you have a circularize, or you can uh, circularize. I think it's more is more. It's easy around faces. So, uh, right, circularize. Uh, I think so. I show you almost everything about a new Maya, and um, um, bye.